So currently, there are four CGRP monoclonal antibodies that are available, including iranimab, framanizumab, galcanizumab, and aptanizumab. And there are three GPANs that are available, including ubrojapan, remejapan, and atojapan. The CGRP monoclonal antibodies received FDA approval since 2018, and the GPANs were approved more recently. But overall, there have been several real-world studies published on the CGRP monoclonal antibody as well as GPANs. So if we talk about the CGRP monoclonal antibodies first, because iranimab was the first monoclonal antibody that received FDA approval back in 2018, a lot of, there were a lot of real-world studies reported specifically about this medication compared to, to, to a more, um, more more studies reported on the real-world experience of iranimab compared to others, but there are more studies coming out for these other medications as well. But to consider, consider kind of the overall real-world efficacy and patient experience of the CGRP monoclonal antibodies, I think the take home is that most real-world studies were done at tertiary headache centers across the world, including several centers in the US and several centers in Europe, and also several centers in Asia as well. Um, the patient population were different than what was included in clinical trials, but in the real-world uh, headache centers, a lot of patients have successful previous treatment trials to multiple preventive medications in the past, and they reported that the CGRP monoclonal antibodies were effective to help to reduce the frequency and severity of headache, um, even in those patients that have um, previous unsuccessful treatment responses to multiple previous medications, complex medical comorbidities, and as well as medication overuse. So I think overall that's encouraging. So the efficacy or effectiveness reported from real world studies were quite similar to the numbers reported in the phase three clinical trial, so that is great news. However, the real world studies tend to report a higher rate of adverse event with the CGRP monoclonal antibodies. So for example, constipation was the most commonly reported side effect from the CGRP monoclonal antibodies that um, with a significantly higher number reported in the real world studies compared to that was reported in the clinical trial. Another is elevated blood pressure. So specifically, Iranimab has um, revised their package insert a couple times for the side effects of constipation, some requiring even hospital admissions or surgery, um, elevated blood pressure that can be with patients either with existing hypertension or develop a new elevated blood pressure. So that has been reported as well. That's certainly something that we need more research on. Another interesting kind of real world side effect reported was Raynaud's phenomenon. So some microvascular complications. So those are the post-market or real world reported side effects that have been reported with the CGRP monoclonal antibodies. In terms of GPANs, as we know that the Ubrojapan and Remejapan received FDA approval in 2020, I actually um, did a study on the real world patient experience of Ubrojapan that was published. And we found we have similar conclusion as well. So the effectiveness that a lot of patients receive um, the medication reported that they were able to achieve headache freedom within two hours after they took the medication. That was similar to the numbers that was reported in clinical trials. However, our patient population in the real world setting was more patients with chronic migraine, with medication overuse, patients that have unsuccessful treatment trials to multiple acute medications in the past. So the good news is that those GPANs work for those patients as well. Similarly, we did find a higher rate of side effects or complication reported in the real world studies. For example, fatigue was the most commonly reported side effect in our study. So that was um, around 20, more than 20% patients reported that side effect. So those are kind of the conclusion from those real world studies that confirm the effectiveness of the CGRP monoclonal antibodies as well as GPAN. Side effects were reported at a higher rate compared to the numbers reported in the clinical trials. And there are some 
new um, or post-marketedly reported complications that was not reported in the initial clinical studies. But I think as time goes on, we will know a little bit more about the long-term effectiveness and safety of those CGRP targeting therapy, specifically the cardiovascular or vascular safety of those medications.